Hi, everyone. My name is Mike Markle. I'm the vice president here at James Publishing. First of all, thank you so much for attending the virtual conference. Hope you're having a great time that you've been enjoying the presentation so far. In this particular presentation, which is short and sweet, about 15 minutes long, I'm going to share with you the six most effective law firm marketing agencies based on significant research that our own internal team here at James Publishing performed. So to start right off, let's talk about dealing and finding with an agency, right? So most small law firms, when they even have the process of finding a digital agency that will deliver results is a guessing game. There's a simple process you may go through, like A, talking to a salesperson, B, maybe calling a couple of the references provided, and C, then just kind of taking a chance and getting your feet wet to see what that agency can do. How else are you going to know, right? You have to sign up to basically see if what they're selling is going to be a result for you. But unfortunately, later, four to six months down the line, maybe, it's not uncommon that you usually have to ditch that agency and move on because the results you're receiving aren't lining up with the significant amount of money that you're spending, whether it's hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, it just goes up and up and up. So we specifically understand these selection challenges in terms of agencies because for about a decade, we owned and managed a seven-figure digital marketing agency that served over 100 small law firms. I was heavily involved not only in the management of that agency, but also in sort of the genesis or inception of it uh, many years ago. So I'm speaking here from firsthand experience. Now, in that decade of time, we noticed that no hard data actually existed on which marketing agencies were most successful at ranking law firms on Google. It sounds weird to say, but it's completely true. There just was nothing out there. So our hands-on research, this presentation that you're listening to right now, and the book we're going to send you afterwards is designed to fill that knowledge gap. So let's go ahead and without further ado, jump in and talk about the six most effective law firm marketing agencies. Now, first things first. The key value an agency delivers is, of course, improving the client law firm search engine rankings. That is the basis of all of this that we're going to talk about right now. Now, that job is to have the firm appear on the first page of Google results, preferably in the top three positions. Think about when you yourself do a Google search. How often do you sort of go down the rabbit hole and end up on page six or seven or eight of Google rankings looking for a business in your area? you're probably stopping on page one. And more than that, you're probably stopping within the first few results. So that's really where we wanna go. And this goes for both organic and local rankings. So not just the normal rankings, but also that little map that Google likes to show, which we call Google My Business Rankings or Google Local. You want to appear there too. And if you can appear in both, then you've really struck gold. And ranking for the most popular and high traffic keywords, that's also important, is like the holy grail of search engine optimization or SEO, because appearing in that top position for your city for a directly targeted keyword phrase with buyer intent all but guarantees you a steady flow of leads. That means people are going to be finding your site on their own, they're going to be coming to the site, and they're going to be hopefully picking up that phone and giving you a call. But best of all about organic is that no ad spending is required with these organic rankings. And this is very different from what we would call PPC or pay-per-click ads on Google or Facebook because the flow of organic leads isn't directly dependent on your ad spending level. You're not paying per site visitor. What you're paying for is to be ranked highly on Google so that people sort of trip over and find you organically, hence the name organic rankings. Many lawyers I've spoken to and I speak with attorneys every day about their marketing, basically trying to improve their results and see what's working, what's not working, et cetera. Many of these attorneys state that they burn through a lot of capital with PPC, which makes total sense. These campaigns can quickly get out of hand if you don't have things super dialed in. You could be spending a lot of money on keywords that aren't converting for you. You could be spending a lot of money for visits that last three or four seconds. Obviously, if someone's on your website for three seconds, they're not going to pick up the phone, but you could have spent four, five, six dollars to get them there. So we want to talk about within here organic rankings. And it's critical to note before we even go further with this presentation that serious work is needed to attain and keep these top positions. So it's not going to be you know, free or easy. You are going to have to invest some time and money here, whether that's your in-house marketing team or by an agency. Competition is always getting more fierce. There's always new websites. There's always new lawyers. So there's always going to be increasing competition. So just keep that in mind before we even talk about the most effective agencies. Now, how did we select the six most effective agencies? 
We, and by we, I mean me, myself, and also our staff members, invested dozens of research hours performing hundreds of keyword searches. We ran these searches in the most populous U.S. cities because those are the most competitive markets. So if an agency can rank someone, meaning a firm in New York or Chicago, Los Angeles, Seattle, you know, big cities, if they can get the job done there, they're going to be able to do that same job in a smaller locale. So that is why we basically did the research in that way. And from the research, we learned which agencies were best able to continually obtain top rankings for the most important and highly trafficked attorney search phrases. And after the research was done, we tabulated all the results. We reached out to the agencies and the ones who cooperated with the highest percentage of ranked law firms are the ones that made our list and the ones that will be listing over the next few slides here. If you are looking for a new agency, or if you don't have one and you're looking to get you know so get started with this SEO for organic rankings, we do encourage you to begin the search with our list. There are no guarantees in ranking business. We're not guaranteeing anything here with this presentation. And your agency, if it's reputable, should not be guaranteeing anything either because Google frowns upon that. But your odds of online marketing success are going to be better working with an agency that has a strong track record. Going through this research, putting in the man hours to get this done, we can attest that these agencies listed on the next few pages objectively have proven track records. We're speaking from experience here. So let's go ahead and list those agencies on the next slide. Here we have the top six agencies listed alphabetically by size. And you can see the large agencies, the mid-sized and small. And this is purely based on number of team members in terms of that size. So that's really all it is here. And each size category is going to have advantages and disadvantages. It's completely up to you. You may have a preference. You may want to work with a really large agency. You may want to work with a smaller agency that seems more boutique. Obviously, it's completely up to you. This is purely based on success rate and team members here. Now, there's going to be a lot of data on this slide as well as the following slides. You can see the sheer amount of information on the screen right here. So please consider either taking a screenshot or actually pausing this presentation to take notes. But if you don't want to do that, and no harm, no foul if you don't, I completely get it. Uh, please note that this data and more is contained in the free digital book that we're going to send you after the presentation. That book is called The Most Effective Law for Marketing Agencies. No surprise there. But we will send you the book after the presentation. So don't feel like you have to scramble to take notes. All of this information and much, much more will be included in that book. So over the next few slides, we're gonna dive deeper into these agencies, who they are and what they're about. And I'll also provide some tips for you in terms of dealing with agencies as well. Here we have our top large agencies, Justia and Scorpion. And while I scroll through the next three slides, which again, contains more details about the six top ranked agencies, we're gonna give you some time to review this information provided. But more than that, I'm going to pass along some tips for working with your agency. Again, to go back to what I mentioned a little bit earlier, we had an agency at James Publishing for about a decade. It was a seven-figure digital marketing agency with over 100 small law firm clients. So we understand the issues that can arise between agencies and law firms. Again, I have firsthand experience with this. I've seen the good, the bad, the happy, the sad. I've seen it all. So when I tell you this stuff, it's because we specifically have seen it over the course of many, many years. And if you learn how to evaluate the work that your agency is doing, you're going to have an easier time evaluating whether your money is being well spent. Again, that could be hundreds or thousands of dollars per month. So it's really critical that you understand how they operate. Now, the source of the issues between law firms and agencies, at least in part, tends to stem from the firm's lack of sophistication regarding online marketing. And that's not an attempt to disparage anyone or throw shade. It's basically a complex technical issue, search engine optimization. So we want to educate here. And when we talk about that education, we want to focus on critical issues that the agency is going to be doing for you. So critical matters like keyword selection. How are they doing that? The number of pages they're optimizing on your website. The cities or geographic regions being pursued for you. The number of links they're building. How are they building them, et cetera. Do they have any lead magnets they can build for you? Are they creating funnels and conversion metrics for you to engage with? But instead of focusing on those critical elements, many lawyers unfortunately devote themselves to unfortunately what we would call inconsequential matters. And these would be things like background color of the website, photo choice, bio language. 
these are not things that are going to convince people to pick up the phone when they're on the site. So you really need to focus on asking your agency questions about those critical issues that I just listed. Here we have our top mid-sized agencies, so Consult Webs, Foster Web, and iLawyer Marketing. And going back to what we were speaking about on the last slide, let's go ahead and start with keyword selection because this is usually at the forefront of everyone's minds when it comes to SEO. What phrases do you want to rank for? This is the most large critical question you can possibly ask. And you can start by asking your agency some pretty simple questions. It doesn't have to be complex, but let's go through just a few questions you can ask them. What keywords will be pursued? Of course, number one. What is the search volume for those keywords in your geographic area? This is also really critical. It can be great to rank for keywords, but if those keywords don't have any traffic behind them, there's really no point. If you're ranked number one or number two for a keyword that drives one organic search per month, there's almost no point whatsoever to ranking for that keyword. So we need to figure out how much search volume is behind those keywords. Another question is, has the agency ranked law firms in other cities for those keywords? What's their track record of success? How long did that process take? Are you looking at a three month process, six months, 12 months? You need an estimate so that you can properly gauge the results. And how much intent to retain is present in those keywords? This is kind of similar to that geographic region with the search volume, because if people are searching for terms that don't have intent to retain, if they're just coming to your website for information, they're not likely to convert. Again, there's no point to ranking for these keywords because they're not going to draw clients into your firm. They're not going to improve your bottom line. So it's critical that we focus on the intent to retain or what we call buyer intent in those keywords. And regarding that specific issue, on the free book we're going to be sending you after the presentation, there's a chart on page 25 that I want to specifically draw your attention to because it actually lists attorney keywords with high buyer intent versus low buyer intent. So we actually did the research, figured out which keywords are going to convert best, and we've listed them there. So if your agency is listing a bunch of keywords for you that you notice have low buyer intent on our list, you may want to have your agency switch gears and sort of replace those keywords with some that are going to have high buyer intent because they're going to provide better results for you down the line. Not only that, but additionally on page 29 of that book, there's an agency evaluation checklist, which is pretty cool. Now that provides questions to ask your prospective agency and also how to gauge the answers received. So it's one thing to ask a question, but we also wanna be able to analyze the answer that's coming back. And that uh, selection on page 29 will help you do just that. Our top small agency is Juris Digital, which you see right there. And whether we're talking about switching agencies or staying with the one you have, there are some other critical questions you want to ask. So we'll run through a couple of these here and I'll do my best to explain them as well. What backlinks are going to be pursued and how is this effort going to proceed and at what pace? Again, how many backlinks are being built per month and where are they being built? You wanna make sure these links are coming from quality sites because Google knows the site that that link is coming from. So let's go ahead and build on a reputable sites so Google considers your rep site reputable as well. How many citations or directory listings are gonna be obtained each month? So are, is the team basically putting boots on the ground to get you listed in these directories? It works very much the same way as links. You're building your reputation in Google's eyes by having your name on these various reputable directories. How many, uh, sorry, how many of your website's pages are going to be optimized monthly? Are we talking about one page per month, two pages per month, five pages per month? What is your team doing on your website every single month? Where are they spending their time? What does the optimization work consist of? Are we changing you know, title tags, metadata, keywords? What are we doing on those pages? It's not only important to know how many pages, but also what's happening on those pages specifically. What content is being created? And what is the length of those articles or blog posts? Are we talking you know, a quick 200 word blurb that is being added? Or are we talking about a significant 1200 word article that Google might really think is valuable and therefore rank your site more highly? So we also wanna know how long those articles are going to be. Within the book we're sending you, take a look at chapter four in particular because it actually contains some hard tips and advice about selecting and working with agencies. And again, this is all from firsthand experience. So you can trust us when we say this, 
We've been through that process. We know what it's like, and we want to be able to provide that information to you. Now, in addition to information on the top six agencies, which of course we just reviewed and which we will send, along with tips for working for those agencies in general, the book also provides some really interesting marketing case studies for 18 small law firms. So we did our best to break these down equitably between a few different specialties. We have three bankruptcy firms in there. We got three business firms, four for criminal defense, three for family law, four for personal injury, and one for social security disability as well. And it's of course gonna be natural that you're gonna to gravitate towards firms with the same specialty as yours, that makes total sense. But we do encourage you to really skim each and every case study. And the reason for that is because good ideas can definitely come from lawyers in other specialties in yours. If you're a family lawyer, you may be surprised to learn that one of the bankruptcy lawyers in the case study had a genius idea that you can adopt for your firm. So don't just stick to your specialty, Go ahead and branch out, read all the case studies. You never know when you're gonna come across a great idea that you can adopt at your firm as well. With that, that pretty much wraps up our quick 15 minute presentation on the six most effective law firm marketing agencies. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it very, very much. I hope that information has been helpful. And from all of us at James Publishing, we hope you enjoy the book that we're going to send you after the presentation as well. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day.